Hello, this video shows you how to convert a binary number into hexadecimal. We will convert 01111011 into hexadecimal. For EDUCAS and WJEC GCSE students, there's a small number placed next to a value to represent its base. You can see in the question the number 2. This indicates that it is a base 2 number, which is binary, and refers to the number of values that it can represent, just 0 and 1. Hexadecimal is a base 16 number system, meaning it uses 16 different values. Hexadecimal uses 0 to 9, just like the denary system, and then A to F. Hexadecimal uses single digit numbers, so 10 is converted into A, 11 becomes B, up to 15 which is turned into F. It's a sensible idea to write the A to F equivalent somewhere in your page to remind you. Each character in hexadecimal is represented in 4 bits, so looking at this question, 0111 will be represented as one character and 1011 as another. I've written the binary number out neatly in the centre, and it's optional, but I always draw a dashed line between the two sets of 4 bits. When working with hexadecimal, we treat groups of 4 bits separately, and 4 bits is known together as a nibble. If you've converted between binary and denary before, you will know that we start with a 1, and we double for the number of bits that we need. Because hexadecimal characters need 4 bits, we double until we have 4 values, 1, 2, 4, and 8. Working out the value of the characters is quite straightforward, you just add together the numbers if there is a 1 beneath it. So the first character on the left is 7, because we add 4, we add 2, and we add 1. The second character is 8 plus 2 plus 1, which makes 11. Remember, hexadecimal doesn't use double-digit numbers, so looking at our conversions in the bottom right, we convert 11 into B. And that's it. 01111011 in binary is equivalent to 7B in hexadecimal. In my answer, I've clearly written the base number next to the value, 2 for a binary number, and 16 for a hexadecimal number. Just a really important note, a hexadecimal value doesn't necessarily need to have a letter in it. In this example, 01111001 is converted into hexadecimal and makes 79, not 79. So read the exam question carefully to understand which number system you're being asked to convert into. Also be aware that hexadecimal value may not contain a number either. It could be two letters, for example, such as AC or EE. For GCSE and A-level computer science courses in the UK, you usually work with just 8 bits to give two hexadecimal values. As a bonus, I just want to show that working with more bits isn't too scary as you break a binary number into nibbles, remember that's groups of four, and convert each at a time. Here I've written out the four nibbles, and I've put the 1248 system above them, now I just need to convert them one at a time. Starting from the left, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. 8 plus 4 plus 2 is 14, 14 in hexadecimal is the letter E. If there are just four zeros, don't leave it blank, you simply put zero for that nibble. Finally, 8 plus 2 is 10, which is equivalent to A. Writing out the full answer, you can see how 16 bits have been turned into 4 characters in hexadecimal. Take the self-marking Google form in this video's description, or a link in the relevant CS Noobs pages, to test your understanding on converting from binary to hexadecimal. It's recommended to use some paper for your working out, and you'll get your score and feedback on any incorrect answers once you submit your response.